I can make okay. a really aggressive push from where I'm at. Like, I can swing out, I can get a knock, right? I get a knock this way. Maybe I just go past him and I get a knock this way, whatever the situation might be. Because I'm playing here, I can now make any type of play that I want. How and when am I supposed to be pushing up in Apex? It's on everyone's mind, because every time I seem to move up, I end up getting... That's why in today's video, we have a coaching session where we're focused on how to move up, how to move back, and how to win the fights that you are currently winning. If you want to continue to get better at your favorite game, make sure to like and subscribe so YouTube knows you want to see more coaching sessions and Apex guides by me. And if you're interested in getting your own personalized coaching session where we focus on your own skills, consider booking a coaching session with me. Link is in the description. Now, let's get into this training session. Today, what we're going to focus on is just kind of like how to take these team fights. We're going to just spend like the majority of this time playing some pubs and like getting like that chemistry going as well as just like working on these overall skills. So our goal is always to be aggressive and always to be moving up. One of the biggest issues that I see with like people of like lower skill levels, just people in general, is that they play really passive and they like to play really far back. The issue with just playing passive in general is when you do have an opportunity to push because you've been playing passive, by the time that you go to push, that opportunity has already passed. Right? So what we want to work on is we want to work on always looking at what's happening in front of us. And as we're getting in damage, we're taking that as a chance to start moving forward through the open. Right? So think of it like this. If you guys are playing all Let's the way over way. here, right? And we're taking a fight and I'm on cover right here. And let's just say that June bug hits me really hard and he breaks my shield. Now that my shield's broken, do you think I'm going to want to stand here and keep challenging June bug? No. No, right? My goal is to move away and look away from him. So if I'm not looking at that fight, right, something that would typically be a very open, dangerous area to play, like over here, is now free to move through the open. So something that we need to understand is that there's actions and there's reactions. For every action you do, someone's gonna have to react to that accordingly. So if you hit me really hard, right, your act is obviously being aggressive, putting in damage. My reaction is gonna have to be moving away all right for every action there's a reaction if my action is moving away from you and not looking i can't catch you right your reaction should be okay i know that he can't catch me as i move through a very vulnerable you know open area now i'm going to take that as a chance to start moving through that vulnerable space right so june bug you want to go sail on that box for me really quick you got it so if i'm playing over here right june's playing over there as I'm, you know, we're shooting, we're shooting, we're trying to peek each other. As I get in really good damage, June looks away. I'm not going to stay here and reload and watch to see if June peeks out, right? Because now he's resetting. He's healing. He's popping a cell. He's listening. He's communicating to his teammates. Hey, this guy hurt me. He's doing this. He's doing that. Like, you got to watch for me, right? So as soon as I get in that break on June and he looks away, I'm using that as a chance to get closer. And now, even though, you know, I'm not going to swing him, because if I do, I might get focused because I'm crossing through the open, right? I'm now able to use that as a quick opportunity to get close. I've moved through a very dangerous spot for free, right? Now, Euphoria, you're playing right there, right? You're holding your angles. It doesn't mean that you have to push, right? Because you can still see everything that I can see, but you can just see it better, right? I can okay. make a really aggressive push from where I'm at, right? Like, if I'm right here, right? Like, I can swing out, I can get a knock. Right? Maybe I climb up on his head. Right? I get a knock this way. Maybe I just go past him and I get a knock this way, whatever the situation might be. Because I'm playing here, I can now make any type of play that I want, right? Without worrying of him swinging me, because you're right there. Let's go this way. If you're right over here, okay. you can overlook everything, right? You can right. see all Let's these different angles. So if I'm playing on that box right there, Right? I don't need to worry about June swinging me because if he does, June starts stepping off to the side, try to get an angle on me. Right? You see how you see him, June? Or you see how you see me yeah. for you? Right? So our goal is to always be moving forward and to always be trying to be putting in damage. Right? Remember, if you move forward, everyone who's behind you can see people who try to swing you. This is why it's really important that we're constantly looking at what's happening. Because the more passive we play, let's just say, Euphoria, you're kind of like sitting behind this box here. 
Yeah. Right? If I'm all the way over here and you're not looking, well, now I'm getting swung for free. Right? Yeah, so we need a lot. Exactly, right? So we need to make sure that we're constantly looking. The rules of what we're going to be playing today is you can only fight if you have cover and if you have distance to start. All of our fights are going to start with cover and distance. If you don't have both, you're not taking that fight. You are not allowed. All right? The okay. reason why is because yeah. of this. June, if you and me are fighting and we're on each side mm -hmm. of this box, right? If I break you, can you, do you think you can easily leave this fight? Um. Not really, yeah, right? Not no. You're no. getting no. shot in the back. If the door was open, maybe, but. Right? You're getting shot in the back as soon as you leave, right? Or yep. if you're hurt, I'm safe. You can't swing me. I jump up, I kill you. Right? Yeah. The issue with if we're fighting too close, guys, is that it's really hard to leave if things don't go the way that you want it to. Versus if mm -hmm. I'm all the way over here, June. You're all the way over there, Let's this way. right? If you break me, right? Now you can start yeah. swinging me, start pushing up. I'm safe again, right? Yeah. So I'm able to use that space between you and I as a buffer to back up. That's why mm -hmm. you have to make sure your fights start off with cover. That way, if we take damage, I'm able to just quickly go back into safety. You can't kill me, right? And then with that space, because I've taken damage, right? What do players want to do? Like if you break somebody, what do you typically want to do when you when you get them hurt? You want to push them. You want to push, exactly. So because mm. we have that space as a buffer, if June starts pushing up right now, I can back off or I can catch June as he starts swinging through the open because I have this cover and he's willingly putting himself in the open, right? And then if I need to, then I can back up. That being said, Let's go hop into some games, um, let's go rock some trios, and let's go shit on some grown adults. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, let's do it. Alright, right, so there's a lot of people going here, right? So let's just make sure, let's keep an eye, is anyone coming with us? One team, one team, so let's make sure to land on a gun. Remember, be active, be active, so if there's a team landing right on us, get a gun, turn on them right away. Rook one. One on the bottom. Probably phased. Okay, I got him. Two on top. Alright, I'm boarding. Okay. So just that one last one was all the way down low. On the front. Now, I know that we don't really have a lot of loot. But imagine all those teams that landed over here, right? Three teams mm -hmm. in Hammond. Do you think they're all gonna have a lot of loot after nine people looted that building? And they shot no, their no, guns? Not. Definitely not, right? So it's really important, right, when we're landing and there's a team who's trying to contest us or challenge us. Really important. If you're the if you can land and quickly grab a gun and like right away look at that guy, right? He's gonna be the first person to take damage. You're gonna be the last one to take damage. Right? So if you're always putting in damage first, you're always winning. And when you're winning, right, what does that let you do if you're putting in damage? When we're shooting and we're getting in shots, that allows us to move up, right? Because they want to move back. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a guy who's like right here. What the heck? He was like AFK, he heard me and then he started running. He was like scratching his ass or something. <laughs> He landed backside top, so I think they might be going to Icarus. Gold box right here. It's a double tap. Team flying in. Landing. He's got purple. A little hot. So they suit. Oh. It's my fault. I have no cover. Another one. Back up, back up. Oh shit, they're all in here. Okay. It's all good. All right, so remember, right? When teams land on us, if we don't have cover and we don't have space, we're not taking that fight. So, June, you got dropped instantly, right? Yeah. Were you standing next to cover? No, I was not. There you go, right? So if a team's flying in yeah. and you can't shoot them right away, right? and you don't have any cover, you should be thinking about getting myself to cover. When I was taking mm -hmm. that fight initially, right, I was kind of in the open. The first thing I did was I started sliding down towards the building because the building would have offered cover, right? They wouldn't be able to yeah. see me. I might be closer to them, right? But also they can't see me in that situation. They're pushing me here. 
But remember, cover and back up. When you're losing that fight, what do we do? We back up, right? No fun. Play the door, the ball. Don't flush. No! That's not my last two long. <laughs> Almost at it. So remember, we're pushing off of the damage that we've put in, right? And we're backing up off of the damage that we've taken. So if we're taking damage, right? Remember. Take the time, create some space. If you create space, what does that make them do? And it makes if we create space, right? It makes them run through the open. Yep. So they're on. I almost one clipped one on that far right side. Wraith, one HP. 50 on one. Pop into that, pop into that. One more pop, babe. right here. I cracked him, but I'm down. First thing we want to do is armor swap, and then heal. I said for you right now, the first thing you should have done is like loot that box and get a swap off of it, and then you start looting. So you could have saved yourself um, Instead of ulting, I should have done that immediately. Yeah, right? Because now you don't have that extra item that you can grab. Okay, up here. Oh. Going inside. Oh shit, he's like right here! Nice. Patty on the other side. Right, right, front, front, careful, right here. Backing up. They're resing. They're resing. They're both there. Patty and right, careful. 45 on the right. Play my knock. Batting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right there, here, Nate. Right there, Nate. Okay, come in. Up the syringe. They got the red ball. Our tank's pushing in. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna do a little test here, okay? Uh huh. Yeah. All right. Um, you see this purple shielded over here? Uh huh. So we all play on relatively high FOV. I'm gonna show you a trick so that you can see things at a further distance without having to look down the side of your gun. So we see this purple shield right here. Now I There's want you guys. To, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like. <laughs> That's literally what happens every time. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. Um, uh, blue on the one in the back. On top. Is that giving? Okay. Get back up, he opened. He's running this way. More, more, more. Third party. More. So this one in there. Hop in the bat. I've created a space right. so you can play inside. Right. Watch your left. Watch your west. Oh. Purple on one of them by the stairs. Purple. Another one on the opposite side as well. Back up if you can. Okay. They're pushing in here. Follow me if you can. Yeah. There's one right here. They're coming. They might be trying to go around. Maybe. Yep, that's what they're doing. Oh, 
So this is going to be probably a kind of hot drop, right? Like, a lot of people are going to want to be pulling up in here. Let's make sure that we try to swing to the outside of a fight. You know how it's really hard to take a fight when everything's happening around you? If you're on the outside, it's not happening around you. It's happening in front of you. So I'm going to try and swing maybe, like, back over here. Okay, remember those other teams? Get to safety. Teams are going to want to start pulling up. Looking good. Okay, team's walking up on us right now. Make sure that you're healing. Yeah. I need, I got no ammo. What do you need? Energy. All I got is a vault. I'm off to look out while you're not pushing. Oh, over here. They're fighting the two teams. They're over here and over here. Remember, if they're fighting each other, they're not looking at us. Why is my gun not out? I'm gonna throw a nade. If I'm throwing nades, right, it's gonna force them to look away or move out of the open. Whoa! Oh. Someone shouldn't have Use that tactical, June. You're in the open, June. You see how you're swinging out in the open? Play the corner. Yep. You're in the open, June. You see how you can focus that guy when you're on cover? Euphoria, right? Nice. Back up. Reset. Create some space. In the open. June, look from where you are. He's going to pop a res. You're going to be looking. Nice. Watch your... Okay, reset. Reset, June. Leave that fight, June. You're not winning a bad fight. Play that cover. Play the knockdowns. Play the corners. Play the knockdown. Play the knockdown. Play the knockdown. There's another person shooting at me. I keep a Yeah, I was trying to. So you notice how I keep kind of like yelling at you? Play the knockdown shields. Play on the corner. Play in your cover. Right? I'm literally watching you guys and I'm like yelling at you, calling you out while you're doing it, right? To get close to your cover because you're always out in the open. If you're in your cover 24 7 or if you're right next to a knockdown shield and he's running around like a headless chicken. Right? You just point and shoot, right? And then you sit and cover and you're safe. Right? But what you're doing instead is you're playing to his game. You're running around with your like a chicken with its head cut off. Right? Okay. You're climbing up, you're running off of your cover, you're running through the open, you're climbing up, you're backing up, and you're doing all this crazy stuff, right? You're trying to figure out what the hell you're trying to do on top of what he's trying to do. But if you just play in your cover, when he steps out, boom, you shoot him. Go back into your cover. He steps out, boom, you shoot him. Go back into your cover. You're safe 24-7. But you guys keep choosing to run into the open. Right? Mm -hmm. So again, make sure you're taking a fight. Do you have cover? No, you don't because you're running in the open. Sit inside of a knockdown shield. Play on the corner of a bin. Right? And then from there, when you hear him run to the right side, you peek right. You hear him climb up top, you peek top. You hear him run to the left, you peek out left. But you're always inside of that knockdown shield. You're always on top of, not on top, but you're always in that cover where you can peek in and out of, okay? Come on. 
On my right? Over here? Power spot. High ground is key. I almost- I shit it on one. Yeah, so take their height. What's he doing? Got him. I was in the distance. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, Right off damage, we're looking to advance forward. Okay, yeah, they're moving forward, they're moving forward. Top on the Top in a bat. Use these amp walls. Uh, I'm trying not to get hit by that. I'm gonna back up. We got it, we got I hope top. so. Okay, wrap around this top right side. Catch them on this top right side. Make sure your guns are loaded. One of them is moving up this way. Remember, right? Our goal is to catch them as they're stepping into the open if they're moving up. I think they're trying to go this way. On me, on me. Last one. Last one. Last one on me. Hello. What the fuck? We can catch them right here, right? We can be looking down on them. They're by the care package. Check over there, right? Here. Yep. Yep. We've got that knock. We can be looking to be moving forward. I knocked that guy where you just swarmed. I'm 
hold if you wanna. Yeah. You gotta love it. Controller issues, bro. Uh, <laughs> That's what that is right there. It's a controller issue. All right, everyone, punch him out. Land on him and punch him out. <laughs> last team must be a solo too, then. Oh, they're over there. Oh, that's the last team. Oh, found him. No, he's running. Running. Twenty six off. Alright, so that last team was up in the tower, right? Which means that we need to kind of yep. be wrapping on that left side. Oh yeah, let's use it. That'll help us out. Don't use it yet! I was gonna say, let's get on the ship so that we can get more height and more distance, but it's all good. Tumba does that a lot. He's like, do this! They're right up here. <laughs> So this might be a hard push, just because they're already on like god spot high ground. Yeah. They want to move quick before they they're right, they're gonna be right above us any second. Yeah. It's all good. There. Yeah, it's all good. Just play right here. Here, we're gonna hug the side. Follow me. We're gonna hug the side. Wrap all the way around. Oh, that's a decoy. Uh -huh. Wrap, 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 wrap. Okay, follow me, follow me, around this side here. Behind you. Keep moving. Don't even, don't even stop, just keep moving, follow me. Keep following me, keep following me. Don't stop, don't heal. Coming right to this balloon. And now we can use this jump tower to go all the way up. Do you have range? Oh, that's a big fire. Recharging shields. Firing. Under fire. Mates. Here, come up. Climb them up. Mates. Yeah, they backed off. I got my ult again if you want, we can cut them off. You wanna go across? Blue, 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 purple, broke. Nice. The other one's below me. On me. Can you go ahead? Go ahead. <laughs> he dropped. They dropped. I can't help you over there. Alright, okay, I'm leaving the. He's dropping on me. I'll die here. Yep. Back up. Is it just one? Yeah, yeah just it's one. just one. 
Hey. This is rude. <laughs> is that what you were doing to me last time when we had our first 1v1? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> My house keeps disappearing on me. <laughs> <laughs>